the Senate runoff in Georgia. Final votes today, Senator Raphael Warnock and the Republican Channeler Herschel Walker have been campaigning hard down to the wire. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott starts us off from a polling place in Marietta. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. And polls just opened here. Georgia voters will get the final word this midterm election cycle in one of the most highly anticipated races. A win for Democrats would give them an outright majority, more leverage. But Republicans have one final opportunity to flip a Senate seat. This morning, Georgia voters heading to the polls one last time for the final Senate battle this midterm election. Before a big game, I don't sleep because I'm ready. So I want y'all to get ready. Are you ready to win this election? Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger Herschel Walker crisscrossing the state with just hours to go, pleading with voters to turn out. That's what we're working on right now. We're working on turnout, turnout, turnout. More than 1.8 million have already cast their ballot, shattering records. Warnock won more votes in November, but not enough to avoid a runoff. Now heading into this election day, feeling the momentum, urging his supporters to not let up. I need you to vote and tell everybody in your circle to vote like it is an emergency. Walker with this closing message. A vote for my opponent is a vote for Joe Biden. Herschel Walker is basically calling you a rubber stamp for President Biden. What do you say to voters who might be worried about that? I am the 18th most bipartisan senator in the Senate, period. Now, I know that that's an inconvenient fact for Mr. Walker. But we also know that he's allergic to facts, even the facts about his own life. Warnock insisting this all comes down to character, pointing to allegations that have plagued Walker's campaign, domestic abuse, lying about his resume or the number of children he has, and accusations that he paid for two women to have abortions, which he denies. The two leaders of both parties, President Biden and former President Donald Trump, have been notably absent in the final stretch. Biden has not campaigned here at all. Herschel Walker keeping his distance from Trump, only holding a tele-rally just hours before the polls open, George. And Rachel, so many people have already voted in Georgia. Yeah, and Democrats historically tend to vote early, so those record-breaking numbers that we were talking about could be a good sign for Senator Raphael Warnock, but he knows that Herschel Walker is still very much in this race as Republicans tend to turn out on Election Day, and that is exactly what Walker is betting on this morning, George. We just got on the scene. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.